Ah, the tangled webs we weave. What's going on y'all, it's David or David, and I am excited to bring you guys this video. I finally found a flak build that I'm super comfortable soloing the Malawan takedown raid on Mayhem 4 with that I've dubbed the Pinball Flak. I'll be going over the skill tree and the gear for it, but first, if you like the video, please make sure to drop me a like on this video, it helps me out a ton and I appreciate you for it. And if you want to leave me a sub too, you won't miss out on some good content. So first, for the skill tree, I like to start off on the hunter side with 3 points and to leave no trace to make efficient use of not having to reload as often. But I do put 2 points into second intention for when I do have to reload. Then I like to put 3 points into head count to minimize the downtime of my action skill cooldown rate, which is extremely underrated for this build because without this I die a lot more often. Next, I max out Ambush Predator to get some good crit damage and also Two Fang to increase our DPS by a ton with a chance for extra projectiles every so often. Then I max out the most dangerous game for more gun damage and crit damage, and I put a point into Galactic Shadow for even more crit damage. But more importantly, this skill gives me the effect of making me less likely to be targeted by the enemies. Then I put 3 points into the big game to unlock my capstone and finally put the point into Megavore, which enables me to crit off of any shot from my gun no matter where it hits the enemies. Now on over to the master side of the tree, I like to max out Persistence Hunter because you get good damage for a pretty cheap amount of skill points and also it makes my action skill last longer, which is you'll see at the end of the skill tree this is super important. Then I max out Who Rescued Who because this build is all about surviving it enough to dish out DPS and this skill combined with 2 points into He Bites helps me keep my HP up for my pet tanking the enemies. Also Who Rescued Who helps me return the favor and dish out damage safely to heal up my pet. You can see that my pet has crazy HP regen if I'm DPSing correctly. I also like to max out Hive Mind because it reduces the damage that I take and transfers it over to my pet, which is then healed back with the aforementioned Who Rescued Who. Next, I max out Barbaric Yop, and you'll see why in just a moment when I go over what pet I use. And for my last two points, I put one into Pack Tactics for the amazing HP and damage bonus, which are two stats that are super important for this build, and then my last point into Shared Spirit to help save my butt when I get way too low HP. Now for the action skill, this might sound a bit weird, but I do use Fadeaway even though I have 0 points in the stalker tree. This skill is actually what helps me solo the raid on Mayhem 4 alongside my pet. Defensively, it helps me go invisible and gets me out of bad situations and just reposition myself better, and offensively, it does crazy amounts of damage with the 3 guaranteed crit shots. For my pet, I absolutely love going the Spider Ant Countess, not only because I actually love like spider-like things, but because it gives me HP regen and more importantly, a crazy amount of damage reduction from Barbaric Yop. The takedown on Mayhem 4 difficulty is really no joke at all, it's no secret that the enemies do massive damage and the 15% of damage reduction is a major factor in what keeps me alive. So now onto the gear. I'll cover what I believe is absolutely necessary for the build, and I'll also mention when I can what can be flexed around and just other possible options. First off, for my main weapon, I use the Corrosive slash Shock Elemental Recursion Malawan Shotgun. If you missed my top 5 guns to use for the Malawan Raid, I'll leave a link to it in the upper right corner of your screen if you want to check it out and in the description below. In that video, I rated this gun the absolute best gun for the raid on Mayhem 4. This gun is crazy powerful when it comes to mobbing enemies, and it can also melt bosses super quick. The recursion combined with our Megavore and crit abilities is what makes this build really work along with our fadeaway. Also I noticed that on my third and final fadeaway shot, it does a crazy amount of projectiles that increase damage. I'll explain how that happens later on in this video. This gun just works fantastically with our ability combo of Megavore and Headcount because as soon as our fadeaway ends, it can come right back up with a good amount of bounces. For my secondary gun, I just like to use something that does quick single target damage in case I get downed. Something like the Maggie works here, but this slot is really up to you on your own preference. Some good options could be like the Cutsman, any of like the Call guns, or just really a good rocket launcher. For my shield, I pretty much always use the Transformer for the Malawan takedown, and the one that I used for this video is the Corrosive Damage on Action Skill End one. So the way that this works is that once my Action Skill ends, the bullets from my gun have added projectiles that also do Corrosive Damage as well as the main element damage. So for instance, if my Recursion is on Shock Mode, when this Anointment triggers, it shoots the normal Shock Damage pellets out alongside Corrosive Damage pellets. 
and with the recursion, this just means that you get some crazy like bouncing pinball action. This explains why on my third shot of fadeaway, I shoot so many pellets because as soon as I shoot the final one, it considers my action skill to have ended and adds the extra pellets. For my grenade, I use the same kind of thing, but keep in mind that same element anointments like this one don't stack, so since I already have the corrosive one, I just use the fire one for mobbing, and then when I get to the boss, I switch to shock. The grenade mod itself doesn't matter at all here since it doesn't affect the anoint and I don't think I threw a grenade a single time in my solo run so if you want one of these just check around vending machines wherever you are and you'll find one of these really in no time. Now for my class mod this is where it gets pretty spicy. I do use a purple class mod which is actually the same one that I used in the video for my support flak build. It comes with 3 points in a who rescued who which gives my pet and I more healing. 1 point into Rage and Recover for more HP regen, and then 1 point into Fast and the Furious for some bonus movement speed and damage if I'm over half HP. The best part of this is the stats though. It gives me 149 health per second, and it gives me a whopping 18% damage reduction. This stacks with the 15% for my pet bonus and also my other abilities in the Master Tree, and it's pretty much the biggest reason that I can solo the raid on Mayhem 4 difficulty. Luckily, these are incredibly easy to farm for since they are only purple, so make it a point to always check vending machines when you're out farming. Lastly for the gear, the artifact that I use when I'm mobbing up to the boss is a cut purse auto idle. This is mainly for insurance purposes so I don't run out of ammo, I just swap to a face puncher and it reloads all of my shotgun ammo with one shot. If you're interested in a more in-depth explanation, I explained it all in the video in the top right. The auto idle is also really useful for health restoration, and the reload speed is also really nice. Ideally, action skill cooldown rate is very useful here, along with the elemental damage and gun damage that matches whatever gun you're using. For bossing, I use a snowdrift victory rush, because for this raid, you really need to keep moving or you'll go down like rather quickly. The action skill cooldown rate helps a ton here, so I can safely go invisible to reposition myself, and also the magazine size helps a bit. Now for the mobbing gameplay strategy, you generally want to stay on the sides of the map and fire off shots when your fadeaway is up for the most damage, and once it's used up, try to fire a few more shots safely until your fadeaway comes back up and then just rinse and repeat. If you can land the third shot into a group of enemies, you'll see why I like to call this build the pinball flag. For the bossing strategy, you mainly want to keep on the move and only fire shots off during fadeaway and then keep moving again. If rockets are being fired, just wait them out and then take your shots. It's a tedious strategy, I know, but it's really the safest way that I found to beat this as Flak. That, my friends, is going to do it for my Pinball Flak build guide geared towards Mayhem 4 Malawan Takedown. If you like the video, please make sure to TD or check that like button because this took a very large amount of time to test it out and perfect the hit and run strategy just by soloing it with Flak. Also, don't forget to leave me a comment with your questions or thoughts or whatever because I reply to every single comment across all of my videos. If you don't want to miss out on future content from me, go ahead and face slam that subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll check you all in the next video. See ya! Opposites attracted, magnetic and irreplaceable. Picture perfect, photogenic, douse the minutes. Yes, I'm finished acting like nobody else. My bad, girl, you told me that. I'ma keep you steady on your path, so I'm normal.